Alright guys, welcome back to the channel. Uh, today I got another deck profile um, with another special guest. He's already been on the show, or on the channel before. So, uh, uh, who are you? Uh, what deck did you play and what event did you top? Hi, I'm Eric Garde. I play Dragon Link and I got first place at the OTS qualifier. OTS qualifier, had a boy. So, uh, let's see, jump right into the main deck, let's see it. Yeah. Oh, uh, uh, before actually, I jump, yeah, I just want yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah, shout outs. So my first shout out goes to my girlfriend, as always, for su for being super amazing and supportive. Uh, shout out to the Stapler for letting me be on his channel. Don't forget to give him a like. And for those that are new, subscribe to his channel. Uh, shout out to my team, Caillou Gaming. Uh, every member on that team showed their support and helped me play test with this deck. Um, shout out to Duelist Academy Patreon for showing their uh, support as well. And then final shout out goes to Delhi B7 for uh, net decking his deck. Basically, uh, everything is mostly card for card. There's like probably some changes that I made, but overall his deck kind of performed really good. Cool. All so, right, Eric, let's see it. All right, as always for the rock engine, I play uh, three tracer, two synchron, one recharger, and one router. Uh, I play this the standard. I know some people they still play two tracer or two router. I think router is more of a brick to be honest because um, it, it requires you to control a rocket if you want to have this as a free extender. And also like he's only useful for a discard fodder. So and I just really don't want to see him like more than once in my opening hand unless pair with the chaos space or safer. And then like with tra tracer like he's really good with having boot sector because he guarantees you as another monster or he guarantees you as two monsters because you summon on summon him off of boot sector and you pop boot sector to summon either a synchron or charger right. tracer's yeah. too good man tracer will always be a, a must have three of i don't know why people want any less than him <laughs> yeah <clears throat> sure so seven rocket monsters and then uh surprisingly enough so i play one chamber and then one Brotar. So, in my last uh, build, I played, I maxed out the chambers, but this one I just went with one because uh, I wanted to try something new with this deck. I wanted to try to fit hand traps. And doing so, I had to cut something, so I decided to cut uh, chamber as if, as like, I mostly want to focus on my normal summon with Saper. And uh, this card is really good. You could do an OTK combo uh, with chamber, and I could probably show it later on. And then with Brotar, uh, just in case you already have access to Chamber, what you do is like when you use Seal Effect to bounce, you would summon Brotar. And uh, if you have a card in hand, you could just use Brotar Effect to discard whatever you have in hand to get to uh, KS Levineer to help push for OTK. Nice. So yeah. uh, the change to Chamber, do you like it or would you rather go back to what you were doing? Uh, I'm still testing how many ratios. Uh, you soon enough you'll see uh i actually do play more in the side deck mm -hmm. uh only because i wasn't sure uh how many chambers i want to play so as of right now it's fine being as a one of in the main deck but like i said i just have to test out more with this deck see if i want to if i like it i'll put it in but yeah right on dude right on and then as always the best card three nocto I'll probably brick with this card like a few times, like through our test scene. But like, it's just so good to have at three because like he like chain blocks with so many cards, and also like he has three like OP effects. Uh, one of them is like people that they still don't know, or they'll just like randomly target one of my set cards, and I'll just like banish Nocturne from graveyard, and that set card is like fully protected for the rest of the turn. Yeah, um, people, and then uh, catch people slacking on that one, right? Yeah, uh, which happened a few times, which I'm like, yeah, Nocto, he still does a... Uh, <laughs> and then, like I said, with chain blocking, also, if you link this off, you get a plus one draw. Right. Yeah, three Nocto. Nocto's pretty and then, good. Three Safer, as always, that's like my main card that I want to focus on normal summon. Because what you could do is, this one helps you get into like the Chaos Engine, or... Um, Mostly the Chaos Engine, the only time that we use this effect to add or without the Chaos 
is like when I'm trying to push for game. So if I have like Chaos Ruler, I would use a uh, Safer Fix and the Chaos Ruler to get a Chaos Levian Air. Or if I need like a rock in my uh, hand, I would just like ditch a random uh, level four Dragon Monster. When you uh, yeah. when you normal Safer, do you usually use his effect and target himself, or do you usually discard from hand, or both? Um, I sometimes do both, but uh, usually I if I open with Quick Launch, I'll just use himself to get a uh, Black Dragon. Okay, nice. It, and then I play the Chaos Engine, so Black Dra yeah, Black Dragon, White Dragon, Levineer, it's always, uh, never will want to cut, these are free extenders, Chaos Levineer is still a broken card. Indeed it is. Yeah. And then for my non-engine, so this is what I switched up from uh, my last build, I'm actually playing a lot more hand traps, so I'm playing 3 Ash, 3 Effect Failure, and then 3 Nib. So Ash is just Ash is just like generically really good. Like it does something against like most decks. Um Effect Failure is really good against the Trivigate matchup, which I played uh two in my qualifier and I just two owed that person or two of those people. And that's really good. And then Nib is just like I wanted to pair pair against the Prankist matchup because like ever since uh the YCS with pack winning, everyone's been playing prank kits, but now it looks like it's started dying down. So I could probably cut Nib, but at the same time, it's also really good against dragons, which a lot of people are starting to play now. Yeah, Nib seems to be a pretty big blowout card if you drop it on yeah. uh, prank kids, especially. Yeah. Oh, I also want to say the reason why I choose effect feeler over uh, infinite impermanence. So. Well, so with this deck, you mainly rely on Chaos Ruler with your mills. So if you don't draw any extenders off of Chaos Ruler, uh, you have a potential of drawing into uh, Nib or Effect Filler, which lets you add uh, to your hand, which is really neat. Right. So add, add a hand trap. Why. Nice. <laughs> yeah. If that card wasn't hand, yeah. good enough already. Yeah. Uh, I'm also playing three Triple T's. This card is really unfair. I think this card should be banned because any card that lets you look at your opponent's hand is insane. Yeah, or uh, do any of the other two effects, but I mean... Yeah, the right. other two is irrelevant. This deck is like full on engine. Right. So, I don't need it. Yeah. That card is busted. The flex, dude. I the like flex. It. <laughs> and then, uh... Blue Sector, Dragon Ravine. So that's a one of. Um, even though Striker Dragon is at 1 sadly, uh, you still need to play the 1 because you don't really want to see it that often. Uh, same with Dragon Ruffian, you're only playing 1 Romulus, you don't want to see uh, more copies of this card. So only 1 Striker, but we're still keeping the, the ratio for Boot Sectors there. Yeah. Cool, okay. And then 3 Chaos Face, and then 3 Quick Launch, busted and busted. as always. These two are obviously broken. Chaos Face is literally an FTK. Not gonna lie. Like your opponent has to like do something with Chaos Face or else I just pretty much plus really hard off that card. Mm -hmm. And that then card Quick Launch. Disgusting. Yeah. And then Quick Launch, who doesn't like a free E Telly? Right. And then lastly, to round off, uh two tidings. Um like I said, I don't know what's the correct ratio if I play three. Tidings or keep it at two. As, but as of right now, like two's been fine. Cool. Um, because you, you don't mind seeing one, right? In hand? Yeah, I don't mind seeing one. Like, I could either use it as an extender if I see chamber, or I could just use it as an interruption. And sometimes it bounces actually really good. Right, right. Cool. Uh, yep. So on to the extra deck then. Yeah. Uh, field center, tokens, of course. Starting off with the Lynx, uh, one Striker Dragon. I wish I could play more copies of it, <laughs> but it is what it is. Right, at least they didn't kill it completely. Yeah, and then one Pisty. Uh, funny enough, you don't really like try to go into Pisty. One time I go into Pisty, is uh, I'll show you a play later, which is kind of neat. But um, it just like 
kind of guarantees me to get a uh, tracer on the board. Oh, sure. And then one Romulus, uh, one quad Boral, and then two seals. I know some people play three. Uh, I think extra deck is a bit tight. I mean, there's a few cards you could probably change, but as of right now, like I never need the third uh, seal. So yeah. So you only make the second one if you get nib, to be honest, or if you're in the grind game. But right. two is kind of enough for me. Yeah, I mean, just having, just being able to get one seal on board is pretty good. And then, yeah, like if, like you just said, if you get nibbed, being able to recover with at least a seal is still pretty solid. Seal and tidying or something, you know? Yeah, for sure. And then something new that I want to try out is uh, IP. A unicorn that I'm playing currently. So there's a play where if you have seal and if you have two more extenders or two monsters on the board, you could just make IP. And with this play, is if you have a uh, let's say if you have seal and then IP, what you do is you use seal effect, tribute, bounce something, and then you use seal second effect to get out, get out chamber, and then use chamber effect to add tidying. And with this play, you can use a uh, IP effect to uh, link this off into Unicorn, and you send a Titan off the Unicorn to spend something. And if your opponent like doesn't have anything else, that's good for you because on the following turn, uh, what you could do is you could banish the Titan from Graveyard, to summon back another chamber, and then make that into uh, I'll show you right now uh, Axis Code Talker, and then whatever monster that you have. Like sometimes if you have Chaos Healer in Graveyard. You uh, use the effect to special summon himself back and then just push for game. So that's just kind of the combo or wow. help push OTK a little quicker. I was gonna say that's pretty pretty darn good. How consistent is yeah. it? Do you think it's pretty consistent? Or... Uh, I mean, I still try to focus on my end board with the Savage, Hot Red, Seal, Tidy because mm -hmm. not a lot of decks can like play through that, but uh. If there's like certain scenarios where that happened, I try to for IP uh, seal. Right. But yeah. So Axico Talker. Um, I'll show off the one spice later. Uh, Appaloosa and then Sword. Sword is another card for game. Uh, you could probably like debate if you want to cut either Sword or Axico Talker. Honestly, like both because, like I said, with the play with the IP seal. It just helps OTK quicker, but with Sora, like, it just helps out the Agnister uh, boss monster. Yeah. So, that's usually helpful. And, and then Appaloosa. Yeah, go ahead. I was going to say, and with, with Sword, you don't have to worry about that. Is it Rocket Tracer's uh, restriction? Yeah, especially, right. like, most of these monsters are, like, all dark. Right. Except for, like, Seal and Appaloosa. Which I'm about to go to, like with Appaloosa, like, it's the one card that I could probably cut. I actually want to take out a new card, uh, Ready Fusion, and then play this card, uh, Dark Fire Dragon. Oh, okay. Um, just because uh, Dark Fire Dragon is a level 4 uh, Dragon Dark Monster, so it helps you go into Striker Dragon, or you can make it into, uh, what do you call that, Chaos Ruler if you have Tracer. Or a Savage Dragon. So it's just another yeah. extender, huh? With that yeah, red, another extender. Fusion. Yeah, that yeah. card uh, seems to be pretty pretty solid. So definitely let me know if you check that out. Yeah. And then for the last link, I play Triple Burst. So not a lot of people are on it. Like this is usually like a uh, Halky Fibrox. But with this, so say um, if people are being or like using effects to stop Striker Dragon from getting Boost Sector. You kind of have no way to uh, have Tracer on the field unless you have Quick Launch. So what you would do is like, say if you have like two extenders, so you would usually do a uh, kick or a Striker Dragon, have one other Dragon Monster, go into Romulus, and say if you have uh, Black or White, either one of these here, you'll summon the White Dragon, and then link that off, or Pisty, and then White Dragon will get you black, we'll summon black, and then you'll link these off for uh, triple burst. 
And then this guarantees you to uh, get Tracer if he's in Graveyard. Right. Yeah, it's so, pretty yeah. solid. Yeah, Triple Burst fell off for a while. I know, I think a, like a while, while back, it used to be pretty solid. but And it's technically a, a negate, but at the same time that... What is it? Only during the battle phase or something like that, right? So it's yeah, it's kind of it's, it's okay yeah. for the arrow is the best thing about it, but yeah, it's really good against strikers because you just stop ray effect, and right. also this being a link three, you get three negates on savage plus a go puncher attack boost right. on savage, so that's really nice. Yeah, yeah, that's a play with the uh, triple burst, and so far uh, it's really good. And then for the synchros. Uh, Savage Dragon, Chaos Wheeler, and then Hot Red. Uh, Chaos Wheeler is still broken in this deck. I think mostly, uh, however you play this deck, you always want to try go for Chaos Wheeler, because that usually guarantees you at least like somewhat of follow up or potential like negate. And what I mean negate like with the effect the other or uh, interruption with the Nibiru. Right, and he's also yeah. uh, really good follow up play because you can just. He has his own effect to revive from the grave, correct? Yeah, correct. Yeah, so Chaos Ruler, uh, really broken. Literally one of the best synchro cards ever. Right, it's pretty good. And then for the side deck. Side deck, let's see uh, it, dude. I play three Psycho Readers, uh, dr three Droll, and then the Gamma Package. Uh, so. Droll and Psycho Reader is mainly for like Drytrons because like, this deck kind of ha have a hard time like playing through uh, Drytron boards, so you just want to play cards to stop them. Um, also, Droll is kind of good against the Dragon Link matchup, which I kind of wish I had in my, I want to say my second qualifier that I participated in, where I wasn't playing Droll, which this card could have come, come up. Um, and then Gamma was kind of neat. This actually won me uh, the final, funny enough, because my opponent, he had Hayate, and instead of attacking me directly, he attacked into, uh, they call that, Romulus, and then obviously he used Hayate to, like, uh, send a card, and then go into Kaigari, and then that's where, like, Gamma came in, and, like, that totally, like, stopped it. So, and he didn't have ray access, so that so, was, like, really good. So he cleared your board for you. And then yeah, you clear my use, board. <laughs> and then you could use Gamma to... Okay, nice, dude. Nice. Yeah, G yeah Gamma is still really good. Um, I, I mean, I wish I could cut it, but it's just, the card is just so good to like not play, apparently. Right. Because it's just like, it's a, it's a free interruption. Or a free uh, negate plus a destroy. Mm-hmm. And, and, then... and it's also, uh, you know... Once you get Gamma and Driver to the grave, that's also fodder for uh, Levineer and other things. You know, it's two light monsters that are sitting in your grave, so oh, that, yeah, does, that sure. doesn't hurt at all. Or if your opponent uh, drills you uh, on the resolution of Chaos Space, and if you have Gamma, then like, it's a free Chaos Ruler. Right. Yeah. And then I play only three spell uh, destruction, which is Twin Twister. Uh, I kind of wish I had Lightning Storm, but only had one copy, and I didn't want to play like that awkward one of. So I thought Twin Twister was like fine enough. Uh, it's really good against the Prank Kids matchup by uh, hitting the Pandemonium in standby, or the Invoked by hitting the Schism in standby. But yeah, I think uh, Twin Twister is really good in my opinion. Uh, yeah. Yeah, Twin has uh, always been a solid side deck card, man. I'd it, I think it belongs inside decks forever, pretty much, dude. <laughs> yeah. And then, like I mentioned earlier, my last uh, two spots, Chamber of Dragon Maid, and then Tidying, because I don't know if what's the correct ratio of playing these cards in the main deck. So I just, like, put in the side deck, because that's, like, my only two flex spots. Right. Instead of having two other random one-ofs or, like, a two-of or something, you might as well just... Yeah. You know, in case you want the extra ratios, then you bump it up. Yeah, I mean, honestly, it could have been like a Red Reaper or a Harpy's Feather Duster, but it's just like these two cards are just like super strong, like going first. So you like, I usually like set this card going first, depending on the matchup. Right yeah. On. 
All right, Eric, what was your favorite matchup in the whole tournament that you just played? Uh, in the qualifier, I want to say... That's kind of hard. Probably like the striker matchup because it was like... It, like the record was like 2-1. Mm -hmm. So game one, I lost... Or no, I won the die roll, but like he just like totally had like the nuts to like clear my whole board. Um... Game two, I somehow like outplayed him. I can't remember exactly what happened, but I just knew like uh, I just needed like a really good uh, extender top deck, and I top decked a quick launch, which I needed, and that helped me win. And then game three, he kind of bricked, so he just set to and pass. And then on my turn, um, I had a really good hand, but I kind of misplayed which kind of like slow me down for a little bit because I activate Chaos Space, I send White Dragon for cost to add Black and then I summon Black Dragon and then I did not use Chaos Space right away because I'm so used to like sending a different monster for Chaos Space mm -hmm. so I already committed of sending Black to the graveyard to make Striker so I kind of lost one like free extender mm -hmm. but um it is what it is. Uh, you you learn from those. You got the win anyways, yeah. right? So. Uh, got the win. Nice. But yeah. Like I said, overall, this is not my list, but the deck did perform really well for me. Um, few changes I would make. Like I said, I would definitely want to try out teching uh, Ready Fusion. Um, because uh, it was either that or World Legacy Guard Dragon. But World Legacy Guard Dragon kind of plays into like certain hand traps with the uh, Ghost Spell or DD Crow. Mm -hmm. So... And with the Ready Fusion, uh, it doesn't really lose to any hand trap. It's just some free ex And you could actually put that uh, extender back with Chaos Phase. Sweet. Yeah. So, so uh, still got some, you know, even though you topped, you still got some adjusting you want to try out. That's cool, man. Always got to work on the deck, make it better or, or more fun for however you like it. You got anything else you want to say before we uh, let you go? Uh, not really. I just want to say best decks will probably be, uh, in our current meta right now, it's probably, uh, Rankits, Dragon Link, uh, Drytron, and Char Brigade. So just watch out for those four decks if so, you're playing any, uh, IRL tournaments or OTS qualifiers. So Striker is not all the way back, but it's, it's still something to look out for though, or no? Uh, nah, Strikers, they're still a buy. They're still a buy. Let's get it, dude. All right, man. Thanks, yeah, Eric. No problem, man. We appreciate thanks. it. Um, all right, guys. Thanks for watching, and I'll catch you guys next time.